Welcome back to another episode, my good people. I got a special episode for y'all today. Whether you're a longtime viewer or new to the channel, I appreciate you taking the time as always to join me. And if you're new here, welcome. Please consider subscribing to the channel and turning on the notification bell so you never miss a video. I create videos on anything comic related, Funko Pop hunts, as well as ripping packs of trading cards. In this video, I will be doing a do-it-yourself comic book storage. Now this particular way of storing your comics, I got the idea from Bub's Comics off of Instagram, but he also has a youtube channel so don't forget to stop by his channel sub to him he has some great content awesome guy and tell him mellow dope sent you now this particular cabinet that you want to look for is the one with the doors where they have the doors coming down and up where you can close it and so with the first thing you want to do when you grab these filing cabinets is you want to take off the doors and the way you do that is this way there's a little mechanism that pretty much unlatches the door as you can see here and you want to do that on each side of the door so there'll be two tabs that you can flap up so you can pull it out as you can see here and you want to take off all the doors so that's the first step And here I can show you a little bit better about what the flaps look like when it's taken off. And as you can see here, the little mechanism that holds the door in place, that's what you're looking for when you're trying to take off the actual door. Now, as you can see, I took off all the doors here. And now we can get actually get started with the project. And just to show you what the cabinet looks like without any doors and as you can see here they all pull out now they only pull out one at a time as a safety mechanism you can only pull out one drawer at a time but when you're accessing comics that's all you really need to do is push it back in access the next drawer So here we'll get started and the first thing I did was sand it down. Now the reason you sand it down is just to get a good finish and get all the rustiness and dirt that might be on the filing cabinet as I was able to get this one used fairly cheap and you want to sand the whole thing down. Just some light sanding will do. And here I am sanding the sides. As you can see, it does have some marks on that. But when we get to painting it, those will disappear. And here I am cleaning it after sanding. And you wanna just clean it as best you can. The next step is taping off the sections that you don't want to be painted. So I start on the drawers first, as the drawers are the ones that I painted that yellow color you see right there. And I went with the same color scheme that Bub went with. You can also go with a green, you can go with all kinds of colors, a black and purple, but this seems to be a good color combination so I do owe him the credit for the color combination as well and you just want to go ahead and paint it I spray painted the side doors and taped them off so I wouldn't get no overspray on the inside because all I really need is for the outside to be painted I don't need to paint the inside of the drawers as there will be comics And 
this is the color I'm using for the outside. I'm not sure what this color is, is specifically called, uh, but it's just a bright blue. And it's honestly some leftover paint I got from my family members. So it was fairly inexpensive for me to do this project. I did buy the paint. And we're gonna go ahead and apply this paint. I went ahead and fast forward it for you. That way we can kind of go through this project as fast as possible. And you just want to smooth it out. The first coat, you just want to go easy. I painted this three times, as well as the drawers. The drawers, I spray painted them three times and waited in between each time to apply the next coat. You want to make sure it's dry, that way you get even coats. As you can see, I'm doing the edges of the filing cabinet. And again, three coats should be enough. And the reason I painted the drawers first is that you will get some overspray no matter how hard you try. So you want to go for the inside first and then work your way on the outside of the filing cabinet. That way you get a nice clean look. And here I'm applying the touch-ups, which is the edges I could not get with the roller, so I decided to use the paintbrush. As well as the lock. And here we go with the finished product. And as you can see, the bars that come with the filing cabinet, those are what keeps your top loaders that you have on the outside. And you wanna put a board in between. As you can see, there's top loaders and then there's foam board behind it. And then you wanna makeshift your little boxes on the inside. Now his project came out a little bit cleaner than mine, but you kind of get the idea of what's going on here. And you want to watch out for the edges where the rollers are on these filing cabinets. So that's why you see a gap on each side and try to center it. But I put my favorite comics up in the front and top loaders and here we get a little view of my Funko Pop collection as well as my God of War statue and the Pandora's box and we have some graded slabs here. First appearance of Punchline, we got my Eternal Warrior and this is the larger cabinet. Now the project you just seen was on the smaller cabinet as it would take less time for me to explain how to do this but it's the same concept and I need to finish off and buy some more bars as you can see in front to keep my top loaders on the bottom I didn't have enough so I had to make shift at a cardboard that's why you see the black ones there and I have my labels and still need to do some labeling but at least it lets me know where everything is and until next time, I will definitely continue this in a part two to show you my collection.